Hi, uh, because uh, we have uh, actually uh, working with a 3500 for many different applications now. So I would explain you uh, what is the uh, main uh, reason why we uh, moved to 3500. The first one we actually uh, focusing on this market is to make a switcher mixer. So far, virtual studio market is very limited, only for the green screen studios and so on. But many real studio actually they want to use this machine as a switcher mixer. So if you look at some tricast to other people, they come from switcher mixer and adding some chroma key to make a virtual effect. But they are virtual effect very limited. So we are combining Virtual Studio and Switcher Mixer with a very powerful 3D engine and also we are still keeping the easy of operation. So now, now I will show you uh, some difference between uh, 340 and 350. First we have our titling features here. So you can make a title window slightly moving here and you can type something there and so you can make a live scrolling or you can also even make a titling uh, on different area for example like this and of course you can make a different colors so anytime you just make a, a different uh, color effect and so on so that's the basic idea how we we use this one for for titling and other things so uh, if you look at uh, all this feature uh, title show, title off, uh, scrolling show, scroll off you can do and second thing is if you have uh, anything like uh, this window you can uh, make all uh, this part switching this is uh, looks like a uh, uh, same as uh, other uh, features we have for example we have this video so let me try this window for you to understand how to this now we have i select the video here and you can make a take uh, this one will change this screen from here to this but here you have a media so here you can make a pose so when you make a pose anyway this posing if you take start from this part from here so we have a media controller for different application let me show you on this screen to have same effect so in the second screen I just uh, select some video uh, actually we have only one video so I'll add more video on this screen so video I can get from from the uh, C drive and then there is a uh, the Tarim Vision and there is a 3500 and the D content and there is a video and let's try to make uh, some video from from movie directory and let's see small video see uh, if there is any interesting video we can select okay, let's uh, select uh, this movie so from from this scene I, I would uh, bring this uh, this scene and this scene so from this scene, if I if I take, if I take, then this video coming out. So from from here to here, I won't take this one as a, another next video. I won't check this one to have any posing point from from here. So I pause, and then see uh, this video. If I take, will come here with this point. So if I if I if take I'm oh, sorry if he I'm oh, sorry not here but here so if I take it will go from here you see this starting point from here to here and it shows so all the media control become much easier for you to control from here of course here you have uh, uh, all the switches you can change or you can take another one you can change so all this content for each virtual uh, monitors you can do for example when you have uh, this kind of scene so we have a uh, three scene you can make ABC they can make uh, different uh, content switching for every windows 
So those kind of switch and mixer function here uh, is very powerful and we spend a lot of time to make this kind of uh, media control switching from live input and also from files you can control here for switch and mixer. The another thing, uh, big advantage in 3500 we have is the AR function. For example, I have a camera. If you look at here, I have a one camera actually from, from side. So we have uh, some USB camera here. We have the other camera in front and one camera for a little bit high quality camera from Sony. So once I'm using this one as a, as a the virtual studio, yes, we can do this virtual studio. And sometimes you have uh, one more actor who is doing announcing from the side or the teacher going outside. When you have a teacher in the classroom, so one part you have green, the other part doesn't have green, then you can switch from here to another one, for example, like this. So here I have a camera from side and then I can put this one side and here another one. So that way we can make uh, uh, the uh, presentation window even without any virtual studio. See what happens here is when you have a, let's say monitor 2, let's move slightly up here. So what did happen here is we have a, a camera. And this camera is basically the side camera. So side camera is this. I mean the, the camera, which is the uh, side camera, is actually this. So I have this camera, but I use this one. This is a real, real camera, so I use this one to make this. So it looks like this part we crop. So if you look at the cropping part of the uh, camera 1, actor 1, from live 5, so we have uh, here, if you look at this part, we have a uh, we have a, uh, uh, sorry, if you go here, we have a actor 1 from live 5. But I crop here to have this way. But you will see the cropping with the background looks like uh, some kind of immersive way. So it looks very beautiful here. So I can move this one out to have this way. Again, uh, here we have another of uh, uh, functions that the, the chroma key background here I can I can change the background like this, or I can change like this. Whatever you can you can put the background here to make a different uh, monitor content. So even I have a chroma key for actor, actor can be put in different background with a chroma key. That means if you have a multiple actor, you can make a multiple background from there. That's another uh, quite big advantage of this uh, uh, the the background part. Of course, this part in the VStudio much flexible to have multiple layer for each monitors. So this is a, a quite big difference between iStudio 340 and uh, 3500. Another thing we have here is the, uh, this part. This part is called Smart PD. Smart PD means once you have the scene, they automatically move everything depending on what uh, gestures. Soon we'll have a face recognition, soon we'll have a gesture recognition. But right now, we are using a very intelligent time control with a pointer activated way. For example, right now, when I have this, uh, this scene, I mean the scene, uh, let's say, uh, 4. And from scene 4, once you move uh, mouse, if you start presentation for your, uh, for your uh, PowerPoint whatever and it becomes this uh, it moves a big this monitor one become big and when you move the your mouse to another scene another scene coming like this automatically that's called smart PD feature so 3500 has a lot of advantage of having AR VR switch mixer 3d effect and so on that's why we wants to bring such a great power in the industry and to become one of the standard of the video production. I hope you enjoy my presentation. Uh, there are a lot more features I, I, I cannot explain every detail, but I hope you understand the uh, general idea why we make a virtual studio and switch a mixer in a 3D uh, uh, powers so you will create a lot of advantage. Thank you very much.